Hey everyone, um, today I am going to do um, an empties products I've used up video. Um, I've accumulated some empty products and um, I'm going to go ahead and share them with you guys and let you know whether it's something that I would repurchase or not. Um, so yeah, let's get right into it. First thing in there is a Pantene Pro-V um, Curl Protection um, Conditioner. So, yeah. This one I actually just <laughs> used up the last bit of it today. Um, and it last quite a, lasted me quite a while. Um, I do like the Pantene Pro-V brand. Um, I do buy it often. Um, I do like the Curl Perfection one. I don't know if it really makes your hair any more curly than it would if I didn't use a curl conditioner. Um, but as far as it being a conditioner, it worked well. Um, I don't think it worked like amazing where like I didn't need to use a leave-in conditioner after or anything. But then again, my hair is really tangly, so I haven't even found anything like that yet anyway. But um, yeah, this is something I would repurchase. Next item is another hair product. This is the Tresemme Split Remedy um, Leave-In Conditioning Spray. This stuff I actually really like. I bought this after I finished up my It's a 10. Um, I loved my It's a 10, um, but I like this one almost equally. Um, it is a lot cheaper, and this is something that worked really well for me. As far as the whole like split end remedy thing, I can see difference in that, um, and honestly, I could care less about that. The um, reason why I really like it is because it got all the tangles out of my hair um, after the shower when I was combing through it, so it worked really, really well for that, and this is something that I would repurchase and that I need to go repurchase because now I'm out. <laughs> Next product is a um, face mask, and this is from H&M, just one of the little things by the register that I picked up. Um, this is the brown algae youth mask um and it's for hydrate hydrating um and i used this quite a few times actually i got a lot of uses out of this packet i liked it it was pretty nice i don't know if it really made a really big difference or not um but it was a nice mask to use whether or not i would repurchase this eh maybe not i don't think it did miracles for my skin or anything like that but yeah this is the Chanel Vital Lumiere Aqua um, Foundation. It has SPF 20, or SPF 15, I'm sorry. And it's in the color 30 Beige. Now, this was way too dark for me. Um, but I did really like the way it applied. It blended really nice. The finish was really nice. Um, so I did really like that about it. I don't know if this would be really something I would go out and purchase um, just because I know it's Chanel and it's going to be expensive and stuff like that. Um, I would probably prefer to find something else that's a little less expensive um, but works like this product because it was a nice product. It did work nicely. If you don't mind splurging or paying a little extra for a foundation, I probably would suggest this because it did apply really nicely on the skin. So. Yep, that's that. The product in here, oh, I'm so sad that this is gone. So, so sad. Um, this is the Labello um, Lip Balm in Rose. And this was given to me by a friend when she went to Germany. And, oh my gosh, I love this stuff. Um, it's all gone. I tried, like, using my finger to get that out and stuff. And it's just, it doesn't really work that way. But absolutely love this it was amazing Ugh, I love this <laughs> um, I have looked up this product before and I think they said that it was similar to the Nivea products here and I haven't tried the Nivea products so I don't know um, but this was amazing if you can get your hands on this you might want to. Um, it's really nice. It's really, really moisturizing. It does give a little bit of a tint to your lips, which is really nice. Um, I don't know. This was just, this was just one of my like favorite lip balms to use. I highly recommend this if you can get your hands on it. 
And if you have tried uh, that lip balm and you've tried the Nivea ones, please let me know if they're the same or if they work the same or anything like that. Yeah. Next is um, face powders. Um, this one is from Avon and this was in the color PO2 Fair um, and it was like a really big container with a sifter and stuff like that. Um, or I guess not big container, but a pretty decent sized container. Um, this stuff worked really well. Um, I don't know, like it had, I want to say like light to medium coverage if you built it up. Um, but the only thing is, is if that you built it up, it, it kind of looked a little powdery. Um, so that was the downfall to this. Um, but yeah, sometimes I would use it to set my other foundations, um, but most of the time I would just use it on its own. Um, and it worked well. Would I repurchase it? I don't know. Um, I kind of prefer pressed powders over loose powders. I mean, loose powders are fine. Um, I don't mind them, but I don't know. They're a little bit messy, <laughs> so that's why. But yep, yeah, so that's gone. My next um, face powder that I have that is all gone is an Elme one, and this one is in the color Nearly Naked Light 100. Um, and again, it's a pretty decent sized container, has a sifter, um, and this one was alright. I actually liked the Avon one better, um, just because I feel like this one was a little bit more powdery feeling on the face. Um, but again, this was something that I would use once in a while to set another foundation, but mostly just to wear on its own. Um, and again, this one I would say is probably light to medium coverage because it's buildable. Um, although I did feel like I really looked powdery when I wore this. Um, but yeah, I mean, it was an okay powder. Um, would I repurchase it? Probably not. I'd probably, um, repurchase the Avon one over this one. So, yeah. That's that. And now I have some Lush samples. Um, this one is full of full of face serum. And it was basically, it's all gone. Um, it was basically like um, one of those massage bars that they have. It's like a bar and you like rub it in between your fingers. It melts in your hands and then you apply it on your face and it did work as a serum actually. Um, I liked it for the most part. I just, I don't really like the fact that you had to like rub something in between your fingers and then put it on. It's like a bar. I don't know if I really liked that aspect of it, um, but I did enjoy it while I had it. And it does have a nice scent. Um, it's definitely not like a fragrancy scent. It's more of like a natural scent but does smell good. Um, I don't know if I would really purchase this, maybe, um, but I would want to try out other serums first. Next Lush product is Skin Shangrita Moisturizer. I don't know. I don't know how to say it. Um, but this actually was really nice. Um, I liked this, um, combined with the serum. It worked really, really well together. Um, and it has a decent scent. I kind of like the scent of the serum better, but combined, the scents are really nice. Um, this was a really nice product. I liked it in combination with the serum. This is pretty expensive, though. Um, would I repurchase it? Probably not, just because I have a lot of other moisturizers that I really like. I think that if I were to purchase the serum, I would probably purchase this to go along with it. The next Lush sample product that I tried out was the Ultra Bland um, Cleanser. Now this was a very interesting cleanser. This was, um, what is it, waxy kind of, like beeswax based. And this actually worked really, really well for removing eye makeup. Um, but it took, I guess it took some time to get off a little bit. Um, and I felt like you couldn't really rinse it off with your hands and stuff. You had to um, get a cloth, wet that down, and then take it off that way. Otherwise, the product like stayed on your skin. So that I wasn't a huge fan of. It was okay. I probably would not 
purchase this. All right, so the last item in here, or items in here, are from Arbon. Um, and this is the FC5 um, moisturizing, hydrating um, line, skincare line um, for normal to dry skin. Um, now, I have three of them in here. Um, the other one, the eye cream, I am currently still using. Um, and I hate to say this, but the eye cream in here is actually my favorite product out of the four. First one that I'm pulling out is the Nurturing Day Lotion with SPF 20. Um, and this one, it was okay. I wouldn't say that it was super moisturizing. The thing I didn't like about it was the scent. It's fruity sweet scent. Um, and normally I like that kind of scent, but I don't know. It's it, it was a little much. <laughs> it was a little much in these products. Um, but this was an okay product. Again, I have a ton of other moisturizers that I really, really like, so this probably isn't something that I would go out and get. Um, next product in here is the Hydrating Cleanser Plus Refresher. This one, it was okay. This one has the same scent, but a little bit stronger, <laughs> and I just don't, I don't know, when I was using these products, like, um, continually, that scent really, really got to me. So, yeah, um, not something I would go out and purchase. It was, it was a cleanser. It worked okay. I don't really know if it hydrated my skin or not, but I couldn't really stand the scent. So if you are um, sensitive to scents, I really don't recommend this line. This is the next one. This is the Moisturizing Night Cream. Now this one I didn't mind so much. Again, I don't think it was super, super moisturizing. This one has the most overwhelming scent. It's the, still the same scent, but it's a lot more potent and a lot more sweet. And I don't know, like for some reason smelling this stuff like makes my teeth hurt. <laughs> like, I don't know. I don't know. I think that's why I didn't like this one because the scent is so strong. But um, like I said, they're okay products, um, but the scent is just so strong that it kind of bugged me a little bit. And typically scents don't bug me, but it seemed to this time. I'm still using the um, Hydrating Eye Cream in this collection, um, or in this line, and it doesn't really have a scent, I noticed, um, or at least not as strong by any means, um, because I feel like I can use it on an everyday basis. Um, and that one, it's mostly just hydrating, which is nice. It actually has hydrated my under eyes quite well. So I will say that I did like that product the best out of this line, but these ones probably wouldn't be something that I would go out and purchase. So yeah, that is the end of my empties video. That's all of the ones that I have right now. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and found it helpful. If you've tried out any of these products, please let me know what you guys thought about them. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.